So do you think it's kind of crowded in uh, 200 square feet with two dogs? Just a little. Just a little? By the time you move things around, yes. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Randy. And I'm Diane. And this is Zephyr's Travels. This week we want to share with you a little bit of what it's like to live in a 200 square foot Airstream trailer full time. This is our Airstream here, and we've been on the road for about almost three months now. Right. And we've been staying full time in the trailer with us and our two dogs, and Airstreams are not the largest trailers on the block. There's a lot of larger units around us here. We probably got one of the smaller ones. But we wanted to give you an idea what it's been like for us to live in this full time. showing you the different spaces in our trailer the first being the lounge area which is located in the front of our trailer our lounge area is set up with an l-shaped couch and, and that's one of the things that we really liked about this trailer was this lounge area and that's why we picked this floor plan um, and we're, we're talk more about how that works with us in a day-to-day -day living experience we also want to talk about the kitchen area here, the size of it and the functionality of it, our dinette area and how that really becomes a central part of our uh, life in the trailer. And then in the back is our bedroom area and such, and we're, we're getting into that a little bit too. So let's first start, let's switch things around and look at the lounge area. This is our lounge area, which is this L-shaped couch, which does pull out and you can make another bed out of it. Our size Airstream is more than enough for the two of us. And we do share with our two medium, not huge dogs, Monty and Zephyr. They're not huge dogs until you have to step over them, but right. they tend to own the floor. Right, right. They they take up quite a bit of the space since we really try not to allow them on the furniture this area here there is some storage underneath here and we tend to store extra clothes things we don't use a lot because it's a little bit it's not the easiest area to get to i think we really found that we don't use this space no. as much as we thought we right, would right and sitting here one of the reasons I don't think we use it as much is the distance from here to where the television is if we're going to watch TV at night. It's a little bit farther based on the size of the TV than you really want to be. Um, sometimes we do sit back here and watch a movie or something. Right, um, right. But it's, we find that we tend to gravitate more towards the dinette area for that because just the, the layout of the dinette and how that works out for us you know, tends to work a little bit better. Right. Right. But this is actually a nice area to just come sit here and relax, you know, read a book, you know, sit in the corner here, put your feet up. We have a little footstool down here that we have for our feet that actually gives us a little extra storage. And it works nice for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Plus there's the two overhead <clears throat> cabinets that we store. Uh, well, this one's mostly electronics. Right. And so in here, um, it's... Well, it's how it is normally. It's not, I'm going to say it's a little bit of a mess, but it's always a mess. Um, but all my battery charges for the cameras and everything are up here. And considering that we have a lot of cameras because we do YouTube videos, there's a lot of chargers up here. Some extra stuff for that. We got some Blu rays, the Blu ray players up there. In this cabinet is mostly like stationary items, um, paper, envelopes. Uh, file storage and such. This is where we keep that type of items so that you know when we go to pay bills or have to do any type of you know writing communication that stuff is up here. Right. One of the things that was included with our Airstream was the you know a little like magazine rack that we find convenient to store travel books or 
you know we're keeping a log of the money that we spent um, you know any pertinent information that we need for the current resort or park that we're staying at yeah. and up there on the wall there you know by the door is a key chain a key rack that we keep keys a uh, spare knife um, you know just some useful useful stuff that we might need when we go when we're going out and then on the on the outside wall next to the door is where we hang our dog leashes right. so that those are things that are always kind of handy right by the door in the back here and I'm not going to move all the stuff that we have sitting but there's a nice uh, storage area that seems to hold plenty of stuff that you don't want out you know so everybody can see it but like I said and it's it's pretty good size it probably goes from here all the way down there plus it gives you a nice shelf to you know put knickknacks pictures if you carry you know travel with any plants um, you know whatever you choose it's a nice you know Nice. It's a nice, use, useful space. Right. The storage area, I think, is originally intended probably for bedding, oh, blankets and okay. such. But we find it's a great place. You know, you pick up things on your trip, maybe for at home or for gifts for friends when you see them. And you need a place to store them. And that's a good storage area for that type of things because you don't go in there all the time. You know, we actually have our Christmas tree in there and a few other things that we just don't need that often that we can uh, store in that space. Right, and it adds to the neatness of your trailer. Plus you don't want all that stuff just sitting out. All right, so now let's switch and we'll show you the dine out area and how we use that. And then after that, we'll show you the living room area or the living room, the kitchen area and how that works for us. dinette area of our trailer where we probably spend a lot of our time either eating a meal watching TV working on the computer this is probably the area we feel most comfortable in this is how you would probably find us most evenings in the trailer sitting here you know our laptop will be out and we'll either be working on that or and we'll have our iPads and we'll be looking at, you know, to today's events or whatever. We eat dinner here. Our, our television is up there on the wall. This is kind of a comfortable viewing point for the TV. For most nights, it allows us to, you know, watch our TV shows or whatever we're going to watch for the evening. Usually the dogs are right here on the floor or underneath the table with us. They yes. keep us company. They spend a fair amount of time underneath the underneath the table. Well, let's show you the kitchen area and that's probably the biggest compromise to this floor plan that we found um, just making use of that space and being able to prepare meals and store food and such is probably the biggest thing we deal with no. yep that's true. this is our kitchen area and you can tell it's not very big at all but it has everything really that we need right now it does have the three burner stove and instead of the separate microwave and oven we chose to have the convection oven the round sink the biggest drawback is there's not that much counter space so if you're preparing a meal or you know whatever you want to do up here the, the space is very limited so what I tried to do is whatever I'm going to make just clean up as you go along and then that will leave you you know some counter space that you can work on the next part of your meal or whatever you happen to be doing so I find that you know important in our size trailer and with this size countertop yeah and you also you you have to use all of this so you know there's a cover here for the sink and that just makes this section of the counter space a little bit more usable the same thing here with this with the stove there's a cover over that and it makes it more usable because you know we might want to put something on here or, or store some of the meal prep stuff here uh, but it is a small space and that's probably the biggest drawback and you know if if you're going to live in a trailer full time one of the things you really want to look at is 
how much space you have to prayer meals because that's something you do pretty much every day what's your storage like now our storage here is mostly just above this uh, prep area is dedicated to you know plates and and paper plates and mugs and glasses and cookware and such um, we really don't have a lot of storage space here we have additional sport storage space on the cabinets uh, where the dinette area and we'll show you those this is our pantry we we usually put any of our dry goods in here one of the things we found that worked really well to help organize this we found some bins that just fit in here perfect at Target. Target. And I cut an opening in the front of them so that we could store things in here that were kind of small and would you know, tend to spread out as we uh, stored them. So that worked really good. And then we kind of work around them with box items. We've got a couple of storage bins on each side that we store, um, you know, chips or Chex Mix or something like that. But you know, you really, you try to make as much room as you can, even storing things on top of each other. Our refrigerator is right here. And it's a good size. Oh, I'd say it's a okay size. It's not a good size. Well, it's not a house size. No, it's, I think it's seven square feet. Yeah. What we find with this refrigerator is it's okay, but if you wanna store a week's worth of food, you really gotta be careful what you buy. Um, we've had a number of times where we've bought stuff, and especially on the freezer part of it, not have room to store everything in the freezer and have to go through and actually throw some items out that, that we, you know, you know, only have a partial of or whatever we don't think we're going to use. Yeah. It is very limited. It'd be nice to have a larger refrigerator for full-time living in this trailer. Right. But, you know, you make do with what you have. Yeah. There is actually another storage area underneath the oven and that storage area was originally fairly shallow and one of the things i did is i actually extended the back of that large enough that i could put a set of pot and pans down there because we really didn't have any place to put them they were they were up here and i didn't like them up here as, as a storage area um, they ended up in the the closet for a little while it still wasn't a great spot so we've I modified that cabinet and store our pots and pans in there. Underneath the benches in the dinette, there are storage bins underneath. There is a door that leads to it. And it's they're both pretty good sized spaces. And we store a couple bins under there. One is our dog food, um, a couple of our electric appliances, toiletries, we tend to store things in these locations that we don't need to get at all every the time. Day, yeah. I mean, some of the stuff we get at every day. Right, you know, right. we're, in, we're in this one a couple times a day just for dog food. Right. But it's also storing like our Instapot and uh, a couple other things. You know, ice tea maker. Our ice tea maker. Our panini um, griddle and, and waffle maker is in there. On that side, you know, like Diane said, we store soda and, and um, toiletries. toiletries and such. Again, there was a little bit of unused space over there, which I built a small cabinet that works really well for storing, um, you know, toiletry items, extra stuff, extra toothpaste and such like that, that you tend to buy in advance and you don't have room in the, in the cabinet to store. Them. our bedroom area in our Airstream. For our layout, we chose to have the twin beds. And it's not because Randy and I don't like each other. It's just that by having the twin beds, it allows you to have more floor space. You're actually, you have the center um, nightstand with a drawer in it that for me, I can put all my, you know, makeup, whatever else I need. And then it gives me the space that I can put my, my makeup, we can put our chargers with our phones and our, la our iPads. Uh, what else? Well, there's, there's room on the floor here for the dogs to lay down at night. Um, we keep a couple of um, 
blankets down here that they like to lay on. Um, sometimes Zephyr does find her way up in my bed. Um, I'm trying to train her that she has to be invited to lay on the bed, <laughs> not just jump up there. Right. Um, it works, it's a, a work in process. But right. She's been that, doing pretty that's good. That's a recent development because for a while, you know, we try, we get, we tell the dogs it's okay to get up on the beds before Rini and I go to bed. And Zephyr just took it a, one step further and felt she was allowed up on Randy's bed to spend the night. So now he's trying to kind of, you know, change that habit a little bit. Right. You know, they spend the night. Actually, Monty tends to travel among the Airstream in different spots. Right, so if right. we get up during the night, um, he'll be in the front of the Airstream or in the middle of the Airstream, sometimes back here. He, he moves around quite a bit. He likes to lay in front of the bathroom door. So if you have the tendency to get up during the night, he he will move, but that's one of the spots he likes to lay. Yeah. For our bedding on our twin beds, we chose to go with Betty's, which are, if you're not familiar with them, are actually a two-piece, uh, well, similar to a sleeping bag. The bottom half is actually a fitted sheet. There are zippers on both sides, so when you get into it at night, you can actually zipper yourself in. And um, they're actually they're they're really comfortable. Right. You know, one of the things we're talking about is you know we're in southern Utah, and our nights are fairly cold. Um, we've had some nights that have gotten well below freezing, down into twenty degrees, mm -hmm. and you know we turn the temperature down on the thermostat at night, but we get into the beddies, and then they're very comfortable um maybe just add an extra blanket if you're on a cold night but most nights are fine plus they're easier to make the bed up in the morning and for us randy takes care of that job and uh you know that's much easier for me <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah we do have a tv as well on the wall here that we will watch occasionally. Most of the time I watch it in the morning while I'm getting ready for the day. But on other occasions we do watch it. For storage back here we have two cabinets above and we use these mostly for storing shirts and other clothes. Again we found some bins that fit nicely into these cabinets that help partition them off and make it easy to store things. Underneath we have two drawers underneath each bed and there we carry it. We store additional clothes. Di on this side Diane has a wardrobe mm -hmm. and she keeps you know hanging shirts and such in there. On the other side over here we have a uh, linen closet where we store all our towels and such. There is some additional storage space at the end of each bed. We typically use those for shoes. Mm -hmm. um, we stack them um, on end so we can get uh, you know multiple pair of shoes in there. And then a lot of times what we do is we'll have a sweatshirt or something that we typically wear. We'll just tuck that on top of that storage area you know to make that work. Um, our vacuum cleaner, there's an outlet over here on this wall and our vacuum cleaner is plugged in on that outlet so that we can vacuum the trailer out. Right. That's pretty much everything back here. Arthur? With the layout of our Airstream, it includes the separated bath. You have the shower on one side, and then your lavatory sink, medicine cabinet on the other side. For our unit, we chose the two larger mirrors, and there is the nice medicine cabinet when you lift up the one mirror. We do have two storage cabinets. One is underneath the counter and that has sliding doors. The other one is underneath the sink. One of the challenges we do face with our Airstream is where to put our dirty laundry. And for that, we bought two of these laundry baskets. One stays in our bathroom and one we store in our shower unit, which you, of course you have to take out when you do take a shower. But, you know, that was what we chose to handle it. And these, these baskets work very well. You can just pick them up and take them off to the laundromat or wherever you choose to do your laundry. For us, we try to do our laundry once every couple weeks if that's possible. We always try to pick an off day to do the laundry when we feel that 
where we go is not that crowded. It saves you a lot of time because they have a lot of different size machines. So if you're doing towels and have quite a few towels, you can choose a larger machine than if you have some other type of clothes that you're washing. Plus, the dryers are larger and it doesn't seem to take as long to dry. So we found that just much more convenient. If you've watched our videos before, you more than likely have seen or met our two dogs, Monty and Zephyr. And they travel with us all the time. Since we bought our Airstream, there's not been one time where they haven't gone with us. Nope. We really enjoy traveling with our dogs. They keep us company. They protect us. Um, you're not going to come near this trailer without us knowing about it and you know they're they're really good companions and if you own dogs or any other kind of pet you know they are the best traveling companions yep especially this guy he is mr inquisitive he wants to see everything he loves to ride in the truck more often than not he's standing up on the center council or looking out the windows he loves to see horses or cows or he loves just to look at whatever scenery there is yeah part of our, our routine is every morning um after we have our breakfast i go out with the two dogs and we take them for, i take them for a walk we try to do about uh, an hour walk every morning with them and that's just to get them tired out and you know get them get them some exercise but also it's good for me too to get out and, and do a walk with them um, Monty enjoys it because he gets there's horses over here and and we walk by the horses a lot of times and he loves to bark at the horses he... and the park we're staying at has a small dog park which particularly Monty but both of them have gotten used to going to yeah well we, we hope you enjoyed this a little bit of a look behind the curtain of what it's like to live full-time in a 200 square foot Airstream trailer uh, we would love to hear your comments. Are you full-time RVers? What's it like for you guys? Are you thinking about becoming a full-time RVer? Did we show something that you hadn't thought of before? Or, or whatever. We'd love to hear, hear from you no matter what. Or if you have any suggestions on what you do for storage, please leave us a comment. We really appreciate it. We're always looking for areas to put you know more things in is you know the longer we travel in our way from home the more stuff maybe we haven't thought of bringing with us yeah so if you enjoyed this video please subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up that's right and hit the bell for notifications we post new videos on a weekly basis and we'd love to have you come along in our adventures and until the next time we will see you down the road see you down the road everybody bye guys bye